Hey guys, it's Liza here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently than I normally do, but I feel like it's such an important topic to talk about, especially now. Also, I have a really cool opportunity that's brought all of this up in my mind, and I'd really love to share it with you guys. So in case you're new here, my name is Liza Compass, and I love making videos about art, music, and my creative journey as a whole. As a lot of you know, most of what I talk about on this channel is related to art, to spirituality, and in a lot of instances to mental health. Ooh. It went dark, what the hell? That was weird. Thanks. I got it. Before we go any further, please understand that this video will contain honest commentary about my own struggles with mental health. So if you or someone you love is struggling with thoughts of suicide, self-harm, depression, anxiety, any of those things that might trigger you, feel free to click off of this video now. I completely understand. But if you or someone you love also needs help with any of these things and needs someone to talk to, please reach out to the number listed on your screen for the National Suicide Hotline or the Crisis Text Line, where you can text someone 24-7 and get the help that you need right now. And to anyone who's watching this that may need to hear these words from me right now, no matter how dark things seem, and no matter how bad things appear right now, please know that you are worthy, you are loved, and you are never, ever alone. Now, with that being said, my intention with this video is not to make you sad. In fact, I hope that you'll leave this video happier than when you clicked on it or at least that's my goal anyway. So I am really excited about this opportunity that I have coming up, which is the whole reason I decided to make this video in the first place. A few weeks ago, I had a friend reach out to me on social media with a call to artists for a local exhibit that was going to be happening in St. Petersburg, Florida. Now, as you guys know, I'm very active in my art community and I get these calls to artists all the time. There's always something happening around here in Central Florida. It really is a great place to live if you're an artist. Um, so I don't always follow up on these things if I'm being completely honest, but for some reason I really dug into this one because I guess it just intrigued me so much. As soon as I started looking into the premise of this exhibition, I was instantly intrigued. The title of it is going to be Then and Now, which of course brings me to the two pieces that I have behind me today. Now, this one over here is Embracing Gaia. This is a colored pencil drawing that is really hopeful and bright and vibrant. It's something that brings life and brings hope to people. It celebrates our connection to everything, to our earth, the universe, um, my own connections with femininity and nature and color and just a love for life. This is the kind of stuff that I've been doing these days. This is me, or at least this is me right now. But me back then, back when I first started my art career, I was in a dark place. I'm not gonna lie. Just looking at this piece, you can see just the, the stark difference in color and in subject matter. It really is a powerful juxtaposition. And when I started thinking about that, I'm like, wow, I really feel like I need to apply to this show. It doesn't matter that the deadline's in like two days. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because this stuff is important to talk about. I never show things like this to you guys. I never pull out my old art, not because I'm necessarily ashamed of it or anything like that. It's because stuff like this makes me extremely vulnerable for one thing, but also it admits that I was not always okay. It shows the world that 
I almost wasn't here. When people see this, they see hope. They see happiness and it puts a smile on their face. And that's what I want. That's what I want my art to do for people. But when you see stuff like this, I have to admit to the world that I've been here too. My mom used to tell me that when I was a really little kid, I could draw before I could really talk. So if that tells you anything, <laughs> I've really been doing this a long time. And I was completely self-taught up to the point that I began to think, you know, I might actually want to pursue this. I might want to actually be an artist in my career for the rest of my life. And that epiphany started to come when I was toward the end of my high school days and I was looking into applying to college. So without any real formal training beforehand, I did apply to art school and I got in. And that's where this piece actually is from. It's from my freshman year at the University of Tampa in the very first art class that I ever took as a college art major, and that was figure drawing. Looking back on it now, I realized that figure drawing was probably my absolute favorite class that I ever took in college, hands down. And honestly, a lot of it has to do not really with the subject matter, but more so the professor because she just had a way of teaching you to look at things in new ways in a very profound sense, whether that be the models in front of us or the way we view life, the way we view the things that we want to portray and we want to put out into the world. And even though I was clearly a very, very angsty teenager still when I was entering college, and I had all of this depression and all of this dark energy and all these things that I, I wasn't really sure how to say them. And even though they were kind of scary, if we're being honest, she really helped me to channel that in a way that meant something. She encouraged me to communicate the things that I was feeling at the time and to bring where I'm at to the table. And again, looking back on it now, I realized that I needed that at the time. I really did because she finally saw me. She saw that, yes, I was great at what I do, but that I also had something to say. And even though that something to say may not be you know, profound or inspiring or revolutionary. It was something that I had to say because in a lot of ways, it was still a little bit of a cry for help. I've talked about it on this channel before, but when I was a teenager, I did try to take my own life. I don't feel like it's something that I want to put to bed. I don't feel like it's something that we can really talk about enough because we need to normalize feeling like this. We need to be able to talk about these things and normalize the fact that we all go through these seasons of life that can be incredibly dark, but that they ultimately lead to the most beautiful aspects of life that we could ever imagine. I do not regret the darkness in my life. Even though I've gone through some really awful and terrible things, because the reality is all of those parts of my past have contributed to the person that I am today. And I'm really incredibly grateful for that. I am incredibly grateful that I'm here. I'm so happy that I'm able to sit here in front of you guys and make this video. I'm also incredibly proud of myself that I'm not just okay, but that I'm okay enough to sit in front of a camera and put this on the internet. It's not easy, but I really feel like putting this stuff out into the world 
is what can bring all of us together and what can actually change the narrative and start the conversation when it comes to mental health. And again, even though this is really, really hard for me to talk about, I feel like it's important and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I think that once the exhibition is up, these two side by side are really going to speak for themselves. I hope that when strangers walk by these pieces together, knowing the context of this show and seeing that these two sit about nine years apart from each other in their creation, I hope that they see just even a glimpse of what I see in them. I hope that they can see that even from the darkest, dreariest parts of our lives, there's always hope. There's always more to look forward to. There's always more to be seen. There's always an incredible life to have that you can still move into. If I could go back and have a conversation with my younger self, especially little 15-year-old me that just thought that the world was coming to an end and crashing down around her, and she had no freaking idea why, but she just did not want to be here anymore, I would just want to hold her and tell her that not only are you going to get through this, but someday, 10 years down the line, you are going to really value these moments. Yes, even the dark stuff. Because honey, you are stronger and more resilient than you ever could imagine possible. This is nothing. And yeah, you're gonna have bad days going forward too. You're going to have more lows that you hit in your life, but you know what? You're gonna get through this one. And from this point forward, you're gonna have no problem realizing that even though life can just suck sometimes, let's be honest, you have the tools to keep going. And no matter what, you're going to value yourself and know that life is worth living. I'll say it again. Life is worth living. So in a nutshell, that is the background on these two pieces. I hope you guys enjoyed me giving a little bit of my commentary on them. And now I want to take you guys along for the ride for the rest of this exhibition. I have to drop these two pieces off in St. Petersburg in a couple of days. And then within a week, the exhibition should be ready for viewing. So I am going to take you guys along to see that. And I'm very excited to look at all of the pieces together and talk about what some of the other artists have created. So with that being said, I am tired and a little bit drained, so I'm going to go ahead and turn in for the night, but I will see you guys in a few days in St. Petersburg for then and now. The way I see it, we all have a story. And maybe not everyone feels comfortable sharing that story with those around them, and that's okay. But there's this peculiar anomaly that happens when it comes to artists. Because even though a great deal of us probably still fit into that quiet, tortured creative stereotype, artists truly are unafraid to bear their souls to the world. And arguably, isn't that how real art is made? Because if you look a bit closer, through each paint stroke and calculated line, digging deeper through the surface level stuff of each piece, you might very well catch a glimpse of something new. Something different. Something that transcends this moment and this lifetime into something just beyond description. But you feel it. It pulls at your heartstrings in a way that you maybe just hadn't considered before. But even though you can't quite put a finger on what it is or why it affects you so much, you realize that you've come face to face, heart to heart, with something real. Something 
beyond comparison, really. And without knowing, you understand. Because you've connected with something that transcends you and transcends this world that somehow touches the artist's soul, left behind to shine on forever from a single point in our existence. A point, a moment, a snapshot of life that truly impacted the creator in profound ways. And because of this moment, because of you and your experience here today, that something will shine on forever. Just like each and every one of us, you, me, every single person alive on this planet has one beautiful thing in common. We have each been blessed with an incredible life that is all our own. The fact that you're here is a miracle. And every morning you're able to open your eyes and step out into the sun for another day, well, that just opens you up to an infinite expanse of possibilities. Life is precious, and even though our time walking around in these meat suits is finite, why not make the absolute best out of every single moment? As I'm saying all of this, it occurs to me that I might come across like I have it all together sometimes, that I've figured out every past trigger and dip fall possible in my life, but the truth is I haven't. Not by a long shot. I still have my lows and oftentimes I'm not even sure how such profound sadness could even still fit inside my heart, yet it does. I've been through so much in life and I've come a long way, but the best part is I'm still going. And when all else fails, when words escape me, my own creativity will always find some way to shine through, to heal my soul, and to make art. If you're still with me, I want to thank you so much for watching. This video and this exhibit, this entire experience really, has been so important for my own healing process because honestly, I'm not always okay. Even now. But I'll never stop trying. I refuse to give up on life ever again because when that day does come, it's not up to me. And while I'm here, I know that there's work to do. And that goes for you too. So again guys, thank you so much for watching and for sharing this space with me today. And if this video has touched your heart in any way, please consider sharing it with those you love. Because you never know who might need a message like this. I love you guys. Stay safe out there and keep going no matter what. And I will see you in my next video. As a lot of you know, most of what I talk about on this channel is related to art, to spirituality, and in a lot of instances to mental health. Ooh. It went dark. What the hell? That was weird. Thanks. Got it. How are we going to be the light? Am I doing this right? I think I'm doing it right.